Honestly, I never considered or never thought I would be an English major. And when I came to Bucknell and I started taking English classes, I just, I love the professors, I love the environment of the class. Not only am I pursuing, you know, something I'm passionate about, but I'm getting a certain skill set. And I think the English major has a strong skill set. An English major prepares students to be critical of their culture and to live within their culture in such a way that they are thinking participants and not just sheep. What we are teaching is a set of skills that students would not get to the same extent in any other major. We have three concentrations, film media studies, literature, and creative writing. So we have these small classrooms in which every single student must engage, must participate. The smallest class size I've ever had in the English department, I think, was about six people. You really get exposed to a wide variety of tastes and styles. I find it easier to ask questions. I get more individual attention. We can all talk. We don't have to like raise our hands. We can just have a conversation. We got really close to each other. We got to have really intimate discussions. And we really just get lost in that conversation. We talk about a variety of things. There are also we have you know, um, this whole wide, vibrant world beyond the classroom, the campus itself, which is just sort of teeming with activities that just ignite the mind. We get along with each other, which is amazing. And so that is all to the benefit of the students. I love the English department. I lo I've loved all of my professors. It's definitely a community. When I go upstairs and I walk down the hallway, I literally know every professor. The English department is very much a community. It is um, just an incredibly wonderful, riotously energetic group of people. I feel like my professors know me. They care about me. Everyone stops me, they say hello, they ask how I'm doing, they know I'm graduating, they want to know if they can help me once I, I'm out of Bucknell. Faculty are frequently working with their students for research projects or potentially on a project that a professor is working on and needs help. I was an intern, an editorial intern for West Branch, which is Bucknell's literary magazine. I got to learn a lot about publishing. I got to learn from the editors and my voice was heard, my voice was respected, um, and I was sitting with very accomplished poets. Outside of the English department, I have two jobs here on campus, both dealing with film. I take some of the stuff that I learned in my production classes and I take it on when I have to go out on shoots. I'm also writing an honors thesis in the English department this semester. I meet with my advisor once a week. We talk on the phone probably two or three times a week, which is really great. She's been there for me 100% of the way. And that has been a very, very helpful um, process for the students. English also is perhaps one of the most advantageous majors to have for a double major. So I'm an uh, English major with a concentration in film and media studies as well as a computer science major. There are t things we talked about in my graphics class that I actually talked in my TV industry class which every time it's brought up I'm like oh my god I learned that in my other English class and now it's in computer science and I just that always baffles me. I'm a double with classics so we read a lot of historical texts that require interpretation, and English really helps with that. I need to write papers for other classes. I'm a writer. Articulating myself well, expressing my opinions, connecting arguments has helped me a lot in other classes. The rewards of having an English major seem to me to be immeasurable. The question about why study English um, if you want to be a doctor, say, if you want to be a lawyer, why study English? If you want to be an engineer, why study English? The question is, um, what kind of an engineer do you want to be? What kind of a physician do you want to be? What field do you not need to know how to write, how to read critically, and how to analyze text, how to speak professionally and elegantly? English as a major definitely helps you market yourself in the workforce because everybody wants someone who can communicate well, even if it's just sending emails on time. My combined degree is definitely already making me more marketable. Um, I'll go to technical interviews and they're like, you're double majoring with English? And they'll give me a look and be like, it's great that you're um, double majoring with English because most of the people we hire have been coding for four years and never written an essay, never written a paper. I've really grown a lot in communication. Um, being articulate about my ideas, expressing them well, um, and doing so in a persuasive way. You will find that English has prepared you extremely well, and that is because English teaches you how to think. In other words, it teaches you how to read 
advertising, newspaper and journalism, fiction, certainly. But what it teaches you most importantly is how to read the messages of the world around you. We want our students to be capable of the, the utmost echelons of empathy, creativity, innovation, and, and we think, I believe wholeheartedly, that, that an English major does that for them. Byron once said that language at its best was something that did things, where words become things. And to a certain extent, that's what we're trying to teach students to do, to make words become things, become actions, and change the world. My name is Jennifer Weber. David Gorman. Christian Maya. I want to be a writer. Publicist. Software engineer. Challenger of conventions. Catalyst for creativity. Contester of assumptions. And, and I'm, I'm an English teacher. teacher.